Today's video will be long, but every second of it will be worth it. Together, we'll take a look inside Toyota's American factories. This is Toyota's largest manufacturing plant in the world. It is capable of producing 470,000 vehicles and more than 600,000 engines annually. The best-selling car in the United States, the Toyota Camry, is manufactured inside this factory, Georgetown, Kentucky. This car factory assembles the Toyota Camry, Toyota RAV4, and Lexus ES, along with producing engines. Over 9,500 employees work in this American factory. It was founded in 1986. Employees in this factory usually wear, as you can see right now, a Toyota t-shirt, safety glasses, and a cap. Average hourly wages in this factory range from approximately $20 per hour for a production worker to $38 per hour for a tool and die worker. Step by step, the latest Toyota Camry is slowly being completed on the assembly line. Now let's compare the production of the Toyota Camry in Kentucky with the production of the Toyota Tundra in Texas Car Factory. So this is the main assembly line in Texas, where the latest Toyota Tundra model is being final assembled. After being on the market for more than a decade, the Tundra had about 17% of the full-size half-ton market. Last year, over 125,000 Toyota Tundras were sold in the United States and over 13,000 in Canada. In total, more than 200,000 Toyota Tundra vehicles are produced each year at this Texas plant near San Antonio. When designing the Texas plant, Toyota arranged for 21 key Tundra suppliers to set up factories on the same site to avoid logistical issues. Satundra has 75% North American parts. It is therefore a truly American product for the most part. All Tundra engines and transmissions were built in the United States. With a flash of the lights and a honk of the horn, a new vehicle drives off the line. This happens at any one of the four vehicle production plants about every 60 to 70 seconds. The third generation Tundra is available in seven trim levels, six of which are carried over from the previous generation. SR, SR5, Limited, Platinum, 1794 Edition, and TRD Pro and Capstone Trim. Four-wheel drive system is also standard on TRD Pro and Capstone Trims. A two-door regular cab model is not offered. But now you're also watching the assembly line at Toyota's Texas plant, where the latest Toyota Sequoia is being built. With an impressive 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, Sequoia's iForce Max Hybrid engine ensures that performance is never compromised. The Toyota Sequoia has truly exceptional power and torque while minimizing fuel costs and carbon footprint. You are now watching the assembly of the giant wheels using a crane. Employees can easily and quickly mount all four wheels. Toyota broke ground in San Antonio, Texas on this massive 2,000-acre campus in 2003. The 
The connection between the car body and the chassis is called the marriage. It is automated in this part of the assembly line. The all-new Toyota Sequoia lives up to its powerful and legendary namesake thanks to a head-turning new look, luxurious comfort, and the perfect blend of performance and efficiency. It is headlined by large 8-inch or available 14-inch touchscreen that controls the all-new Toyota Audio Multimedia System. On this assembly line, employees assemble the car's interior, connect the wiring, attach the chrome elements, and assemble the front bumper. It is available in five unique trims that include SR5, Limited, Platinum, TRD Pro, and the new Capstone Luxury trim. Sequoia launches a new chapter of advanced manufacturing at Toyota of Texas, where more than 3,900 Toyota employees and 5,300 suppliers are working on its production. This new Toyota Sequoia offers a maximum towing capacity of up to 9,000 pounds, nearly 22% more than the previous generation. You are now watching the start of the Toyota Corolla production process at the Mississippi plant. Production started at Toyota Mississippi in the fall of 2011. The production process starts in the press shop. Here, the steel plates are used to produce the individual body parts. The plant has a production capacity of 170,000 vehicles per year and employs over 2,100 Toyota employees. After finishing the body of a Toyota Corolla, employees check for bumps and dents. Some parts are welded by hand by employees. The 12th generation Toyota Corolla is currently being produced here. All the latest models have the XSE's 169 horsepower, 126 kilowatt four-cylinder engine. After body weld, it's time for the vehicle to get its personality in the paint shop. This process is so much more than just the cool colors you see. Each vehicle spends up to 12 hours here as team members and robots work collaboratively to apply protective coating, sealant primer, paint, and clear coat. Each Toyota is available in an array of colors and trim packages, making each as unique and fun as their owners. The body paint is applied in three coats. At the end of the process, a quality control is carried out. Now the Toyota Corolla will move from paint to the main assembly line at this Mississippi plant. From paint, every Toyota vehicle moves to what most people think of when picturing auto manufacturing assembly. Toyota factory staff will provide insulation, connect the wiring. The cars move on a moving conveyor belt across the factory. The car doors are assembled in another part of the factory. They are fitted to the car as the last thing so that employees can easily get inside the car. Now employees, they usually wear red company t-shirts at this factory, clip the front bumper of the Corolla. Employees use various seats and helpers to lift heavy parts of the car. Toyota strives to create the best possible working environment. <laughs> 
Toyota Motor Corporation, TMC, achieved a cumulative global production volume of 300 million vehicles this year. The front window is fixed with a special adhesive and lowered by a crane in the ceiling of the factory hall. Toyota says it would only build 6,000 Corolla Apex units, of which only 120 would be equipped with six-speed manual transmission, all of them on the SE trim level. The Toyota Corolla is now finished and ready to be transported to its future owner. This is the manufacturing process at the Georgetown, Indiana factory. Right now, body parts are being pressed for the Toyota Sienna. The robots that weld the car body are from the Japanese manufacturer Kawasaki. Despite being hybrid only, Toyota claims that the fourth generation Sienna can still tow the same 3,500 pounds capacity as the third generation model. Over six million cars have been built here since the factory was established in 1996. Toyota Sienna is also sold in Taiwan, Mexico, and China. At Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana, employees work in tandem with robots to help increase efficiency. All car parts must be on the main assembly line at the right time and in the right place. Toyota is the second largest automaker in the United States. The largest manufacturer is General Motors. The entire assembly line in the factory is monitored from the control center on computer monitors. Everything must run smoothly. After the bodywork has been painted, it's time for another thorough paint check and manual application of sealant. Toyota has sold more than 2.2 million Sienna models since its debut in 1997. The fully redesigned 2021 Sienna, assembled here at Toyota Indiana, use a high-strength metal that requires innovative bonding technologies such as sealer bonds and laser welding. The quality of the laser welds is confirmed by ultrasound machines. Factory employees work in shifts and rotate to ensure 24-7 operation. The main reason for the great popularity of the Toyota Sienna is that inside it is extremely versatile and offers plenty of comfort in the rear seats. Engineers are able to break down the entire production process into a visualization that resembles a computer game. For example, this is what the computer simulation of the factory looks like thanks to the 3D glasses. Nearly 30% of female employees work at this Toyota plant. They work at all points in the production process. Testing and development of new Toyota cars is often carried out at the Ontario plant in Canada. In addition, there are also three production lines. Now I'm going to show you how the popular Toyota Highlander is also made in a factory in Indiana. Toyota Indiana, located in Princeton, Indiana, currently has 7,000 team members and growing who assemble the Highlander, Highlander Hybrid, the all-hybrid Sienna, and the Sequoia in this recently updated 4.5 million square foot facility. The Toyota Highlander is a mid-size crossover SUV with three-row seating produced by Toyota since 2000. 
The fourth generation of the Toyota Highlander, called Kluger in some countries, is currently in production. Compared to the previous generation, there is increased cargo room behind the third row, and support was added for both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. With over 7,000 employees, Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana is the largest employer in the Evansville area. Once completed, the cars are loaded onto trucks and shipped to car dealerships across the United States. Upon delivery to the dealership, the cars will be thoroughly washed. Toyota Manufacturing in Tennessee builds engine blocks for cars, SUVs, and trucks assembled in North America. The plant's more than 450 member workforce is responsible for bringing vehicles to life by using aluminum to create thousands of engine blocks and transmission cases and housings every day. Toyota Tennessee produces nearly 2 million engine blocks and more than 1 million transmission cases and housings per year. Factory employees are trained on how to assemble all engine components, first on a computer. This plant in Jackson, Tennessee is one of Toyota's smaller manufacturing facilities. Only about 500 employees work here. As Toyota grew its vehicle production in the United States, the need for quality engines and their components grew too. Toyota engines and component parts bring every Toyota to life. This is the start of production of the latest Toyota Corolla Cross in the United States. By size, the Corolla Cross is positioned between the smaller CHR, with which it shares a platform, and the larger RAV4. Powered by a 2.0-liter M20AF-XS hybrid petrol engine, it is offered in S, SE, and XSE trim levels in the United States, and in SE and XSE trim levels in Canada. Adopting the Corolla nameplate, it is positioned as a more practical and larger alternative to the CHR and built on the same TNGAC platform as the E210 series Corolla. All cars are checked for quality at the end of the production line. The car's paintwork must be of the highest quality and absolutely free of scratches. Please let me know in the comments section whether you prefer the Toyota Corolla Cross or the classic Corolla. The production process for the latest Toyota Corolla SE begins with body welding. These welding robots from Kawasaki are programmed to work with the precision of an inch. They have the advantage of 24-7 operation and do not need to be paid any salary. Body welding is thus one of the cheapest parts of the entire production process and is completely automated. Factory employees, in addition to checking on the work of soldering some parts that robots can't handle. Toyota vehicle identification number starting with one, four, or five represent vehicles assembled in the United States. Vehicle identification number beginning with two indicate vehicles assembled in Canada, and vehicles with vehicle identification number beginning with three were assembled in Mexico. Vehicles with vehicle identification number that start with J were produced in Japan. This is a front-engined rear-wheel drive, four-wheel drive car. Predecessor, Toyota Pickup, 1995. Brackets and mechanical feeders are very helpful to the factory staff when assembling the wheels. The employee tightens all five screws to a predetermined force with a special screwdriver. There is a good mood when installing cables and tightening screws 
And in my opinion, it is practically a relaxing activity. The factory staff has to plug in a lot of wiring and screw in a lot of screws. No robot can do this for them yet, as this activity is too difficult for robot programming. The polished new Toyota Corolla SE is now parked in the giant parking lot immediately outside the factory and will soon be transported to the car dealership. Thousands of cylinder heads are produced daily at this Toyota plant in Missouri. Toyota Missouri, located in Troy, Missouri, opened in 1993. Toyota Motor Manufacturing, Missouri, TMMMO, uses recycled aluminum for production. Cylinder heads are like the lungs of an engine. They're key to controlling airflow in and out of the cylinders and fuel deployment. Its 900 team members make cylinder heads for every car, truck, and SUV Toyota makes in North America. Cylinder heads control the mixture of fuel and air into the engine, and the exhaust from the engine. More than 1,000 employees make more than 2 million cylinder heads per year. Plant size is 550,000 square feet. Operations, low pressure casting, core making, and die making. They are now stocked in the factory warehouse. This is Toyota Motor Manufacturing, West Virginia, TMMWV. It is Toyota's only combined engine and transmission plant in North America. Additionally, it is the only Toyota manufacturing plant in North America to produce hybrid transaxles. The $2 billion facility employs approximately 2,200 team members under a nearly 2 million square foot facility. The plant has invested more than $10 million in various local philanthropic and educational initiatives over the past two decades. This factory was established in 1996. Since then, it has produced over 1.2 million units. The percentage of women in this factory is steadily increasing, so if you are interested, be sure to apply for a job here. The working environment here is relatively pleasant, and in my opinion, it is better to move around in a factory than to sit in front of a computer screen all your life. Great emphasis is placed on accuracy and flawlessness in this work. In the case of engines, there is no other way. This is Toyota Motor Manufacturing Alabama. T-M-M-A-L for short. Toyota Alabama is the Toyota engine capital of North America. With 1,800 highly skilled team members located in Huntsville, Alabama, Toyota Alabama produces 3,000 engines each day. T-M-M-A-L is the only plant to build four-cylinder V6 and twin turbo under one roof. TMMAL powers popular Toyota vehicles like the Highlander, Sienna, RAV4, Corolla, Corolla Cross, Tundra, Tacoma, and Sequoia. This factory is located near the town of Huntsville. The facility was built in 2003.
Giant engines for the Siena, Highlander, Tundra, and Tacoma are built here. It's a beautiful sight. This is the production process of the Toyota RAV4 on the American continent, in the United States and Canada. Last year, Toyota sold 430,000 RAV4s in the United States. That's the most of any new vehicle that isn't a full-size pickup. These workers you're watching right now work much of the day on the chassis of a car that is lifted. For this reason, they wear a special harness that acts as a relief for their shoulders. This factory has been upgraded to Toyota New Global Architecture, TNGA, for the production of the new Toyota RAV4. Therefore, there is a higher degree of robotization, and the latest manufacturing processes are being introduced within Toyota. In addition, the Cambridge, Ontario plant also produces transmissions and engines for Toyota. The RAV4 is Toyota's best-selling SUV, and the same high standards for quality that our North team members applied to the Corolla are now being applied to this RAV4. Over 330,000 Toyota RAV4s were produced on this production line alone last year, which is around 1,400 cars every day. As you can see right now, a large number of employees are needed in the production of engines. It's a highly individualized job that can't be replaced by robots. Once completed, the engines are loaded and transported to the central parts warehouse. From there, they are transported to the main assembly line. On the Toyota RAV4's main assembly line, logistics and smooth operation are the biggest challenges. All components are prepared in specialized areas of the factory and transported to a single location for assembly at the designated time. For example, the sewing workshop is responsible for the preparation of the entire upholstery of the car. These workers are then responsible for the quality of all leather and embroidered elements in the car's interior. A hybrid variant of the RAV4 was announced available, alongside the standard petrol variant. It comes standard with four-wheel drive, and the hybrid system uses a 1.6 kilowatt-hour nickel-metal hydride battery pack. Toyota updated RAV4 with new LED projector-type headlights, alloy wheels, which can be had in either silver or black, USB-C charging ports, while the European market gains the new Adventure variant, which has been offered in other markets like Japan, United States, and Australia. The doors are always removed at the beginning of the assembly line and reinstalled last after the interior is finished at the end of production. For the North American market, the RAV4 is built in two plants in Woodstock, Ontario, while the RAV4 hybrid is produced in Georgetown, Kentucky, United States of America. As usual, you can see the main part of the production, joining the finished chassis to the body of the car. This is called the marriage.
Just-in-time refers to the system which allocates parts to a vehicle as the vehicle is rolling down the production line. The system means that Toyota doesn't have to overproduce parts and store them for an unknown number of vehicles. In quality control, inspectors go through all parts of the car to ensure that everything has been manufactured without error. This blue Toyota RAV4, however, was built in a factory in Russia near St. Petersburg. The TRD off-road trim level has been added to the model range, making a total of 10 trim levels available. There is definitely plenty to choose from. Once the cars are delivered to the car dealerships, they are thoroughly cleaned and ready for sale. Before the car is loaded onto the train and sent to its future owners, it is driven around a test track. This is a view inside the Toyota factory in Kentucky where the Toyota Avalon was built. The Toyota Avalon has been a significant member of the large sedan sector for a total of five generations. Toyota marketed the front drive Avalon as a replacement for its rear drive Cressida, a model discontinued for the American market in 1992. Toyota assembles complete vehicles with more than 20 on-site suppliers located on the premises of this factory complex. From the internal features like the airbags, instrument panels, and seats to the external parts like the windshield and the doors, this is where the vehicle all comes together. In fact, assembly is the largest production area with the greatest number of dedicated employees of each vehicle plant. Shock absorbers, brake discs, and wiring are gradually added to the chassis. The whole chassis is added to the car body for the last time. Car body is assembled in two parallel processes. Beside the main assembly line, the glued components are assembled into bigger elements. A cart equipped with screws and tools moves along the assembly line with vehicles to assist line workers within each section. This eliminates the need to go back and forth to the nearby shelves to replenish screws and parts, reducing non-value-added movement. The four-unit plants in the Toyota USA manufacturing operations are in and around areas where Toyota's USA vehicle production facilities are located in order to quickly and effectively provide vital parts for Toyota's vehicles. Avalon is a legendary island of the Arthurian legend, fitting it in with Toyota's tradition of naming their sedans after variants of the word for crown in various languages. Crown Corona, Camry Corolla, types of crowns, tiara, or other aspects of royalty, scepter. As of 2013, the Avalon was sold in the United States, Canada, China, South Korea, and the Middle East. It was discontinued in the United States in 2022. In short, Toyota is simplifying things, mainly to make room for a new full-size sedan called the Crown. When demand for sedans returns, we may see other new cars arrive, including a return of the Avalon. Regardless of the model, the production of all Toyota cars begins with the pressing of steel plates. These parts are then welded together by robots to form the body of the car. This is followed by anti-corrosive spraying of the bodywork and then painting of the bodywork. The car is moved within the factory using sliding tracks and cranes. After painting, the body is moved to the hull where all parts of the car are gradually added to the interior.
Each employee of the factory has a fixed time in which to add a given part to the car. The final part of the manufacturing process is quality control in the LED tunnels. In addition to the body paint, a dozen things are checked according to a predetermined checklist. Now let's take a look together at the production Acura Integra, which is currently sold as the Acura RSX. This is what instrument panel production looks like at the Marysville, Ohio factory. This is where the Honda Integra has been in production from 2022 to the present day. Now after processing the front dashboard, the manipulator arm slides inside the car. It will then be bolted down with massive screws and the workers will plug in all the wiring and electronics. Throughout its production run, the Integra was highly regarded for its handling and performance. The 1995 to 2001 Integra Type R is widely regarded as one of the best front wheel drive cars of all time. Now the workers of this Honda factory will attach all the chrome elements and the emblem. They'll stamp the Acura logo on the engine, the front bumper and the rear bumper. The Honda Acura Integra will now be taken to the inspection line. Here, under LED lighting, the quality of the paintwork in the interior of the car will be checked. This is followed by a transfer to the dyno, where the engine performance and other controls of the car will be tested. The Honda Integra nameplate is used for a restyled Honda Civic sedan for the Chinese market, while the Acura Integra nameplate is used for a Civic-based liftback for North America, replacing the Acura ILX. This is Toyota's first manufacturing plant in North America, Long Beach, California. Today, with the help of more than 350 employees, TABC is a primary supplier of parts for Tacoma trucks and past model service parts. The plant creates stamped parts, steering columns, catalytic converters, weld sub-assemblies, sheet metal and aluminum components. Toyota Auto Body California also assembles stamped parts and welded sub-assemblies. These parts, once completed and packaged, are then transported to other Toyota factories throughout the United States. In 95% of cases, the finished parts are transported by rail. The factory is therefore very well connected to the rail network. Above this employee, you see 41, which is the number of parts produced on this shift. In its efforts, the plant uses specifically formulated low volatile organic compound lubrication oils in its stamping processes. The work is divided between employees and robots. Year after year, the percentage of activities that robots can handle is increasing. Over the years, Toyota Auto Body California, TABC's core capabilities of stamping, welding, and painting parts have remained a constant. Toyota employees then package the manufactured parts in plain boxes and then label. Each employee has a fixed job description and is perfectly trained in its execution. In the case of high quality and fast work, employees receive salary bonuses. In the case of lower performance, part of their salary may be deducted.
Every employee must wear an orange safety helmet and safety glasses. However, thanks to strong unions, employees can wear whatever clothes they feel comfortable in, as you can see right now. In 1995, TABC began mass production of the Tacoma, a pickup truck designed exclusively for the North American market. Earplugs are a common work item for employees at this factory, as you can see right now. High noise levels are unavoidable in car factories. The best way to protect the noise is to use earplugs. A mid-size pickup truck in Tacoma suits most people's daily routine of excellent fuel mileage, depreciation, and low ownership cost. The fourth generation Toyota Tacoma has been in production since last year. It is available in both gasoline powered and gasoline hybrid. Tacomanus means high lift, big tires, slim body, and a powerful athletic stance. Production Toyota Tacoma equals laser-welded high-strength steel frame members for increased rigidity and aluminum body components to reduce weight. At the end of production, the cars are loaded into containers and transported by rail or ferry. This is what it looks like inside Toyota Motor North American Research and Development. Established in 1977 in Michigan, the facility provides everything from engineering design and prototyping to testing and evaluation of vehicles, parts, and materials for Toyota's North American vehicles. Vehicle development and engineering designs key vehicle components, electronics, body, and chassis for all North American built vehicles. VDE partners with functions across R&D to design parts that support the future of mobility. Vehicle development and design designs key electronics, body and chassis components for all vehicles manufactured in North America. VDE works with functions across research and development to design parts that support the future of mobility. As you can see, welding of test prototypes and many other activities take place here as in a regular production factory. The only difference is that nothing is mass produced in large numbers here. And now we move on to the Kentucky plant. This is where the Lexus ES350 is made, which is almost identical to the Toyota Camry. Lexus is the luxury division of Toyota. The first five generations of the ES used the Toyota Camry platform, while the latter generations are more closely related to both the Camry and the Avalon. Lexus team members at the company's U.S. facility spent more than 150,000 hours training to build the ES model that delivers a fundamentally higher level of performance than its predecessors. That includes sensory training that teaches assemblers, for instance, to feel for an abnormality as minute as a thread of hair. Lexus began production of the ES in Kentucky after investing more than $360 million in a new production facility on the Toyota Kentucky campus. In addition to the ES350, the Lexus team of more than 800 Lexus-trained Kentuckians will now also build the all-new coveted F-Sport model. Lexus has positioned the ES in the comfort luxury segment with an emphasis on interior amenities, quietness, and ride quality, in contrast with more firm riding sport sedans. <laughs> 